Today we're going to make a power switch. Let's build that. My friend gave me this router table. It isn't the greatest, but it's free. The only problem with it is, since it uses a regular router, it's kind of hard to turn on and it just gets annoying. So I decided I'm going to fix that with a power switch. I had this old extension cord lying around that was broken, so I ended up cutting out the broken section. I took the female end and I also took about 8 feet of cord as an extension cord. I had to cut off the male end because the ground plug was missing. So on the female plug we're just going to strip back about 6 inches of casing and then we're going to strip each one of the wires about half an inch to expose the wires inside the insulation. We're also going to strip both ends of the longer cord but on one end you only have to strip back about an inch of the casing. That's going to be our plug end. So we're going to take apart our plug and we're going to slide the wires through it. Now we're just going to connect all our wires to the plug. The black is the hot, the green is the ground, and the white is the neutral. So on our plug we should have a little green screw on the grounding plug. That's where the green wire goes. We should have a white wire with a silver screw and we should have the hot wire, the black, goes to the brass screw. So green to green, white to silver, black to brass. So just connect all those wires up and tighten the screws down. Make sure when you do this that none of your wires are contacting each other and try and keep them as short as possible so that no exposed copper can short out inside your plug. I wouldn't have had to do this if the grounding plug on my extension cord wasn't missing but it was so I had to add this extra plug in. Now that it's all connected you can see that the green, the white, and the black are all on their corresponding screws. We can slide the case on and insert the little lock screw to keep it all together. Now I'm going to take my electrical box and put it in a spot I think is best and just use the nails that are provided to hammer it into the leg of my router table. Uh, you can move it wherever you want. And then we're going to insert both of the longer stripped ends of the long cord and of the female plugged cord. I'm going to put them both through the box and pull them out so that we can access them for wiring. We're going to have to use this little ground extension. It's just a three inch piece with stripped wire on both ends, attach that to the green screw at the bottom of the switch and now we're going to connect both of the brass screws to a hot wire on one wire and, on, and the hot wire on the other. This will connect and disconnect the hot wire. Now that those are all wired up, we can connect both of our neutrals together and install a wing nut. And then we can connect all three of the ground wires and put a wing nut on that as well. And just to make sure those don't come off, I'm just going to wrap them with some electrical tape and keep them insulated. I am not an electrician. If you do not feel comfortable doing this, please do some research and stuff all that stuff in the wire. Make sure your switch is in the direction you want and screw it into the plate. I'm just using these cable wires to run the wire down the leg and across over to the other corner because that's where the plug is for the router table just to keep it from getting snagged. So I'm going to plug in a lamp to test, plug in the cable to the wall, and your switch works. Perfect. So now that the switch works, you can see the router table is plugged in and working just fine. And project complete. To finish it off, I'm going to put on this faceplate and I'm going to put on my switch lock that I made in a previous video. Links up in the top right corner. You can check that out if you're interested. There it is. Router table works. 
I could have done this project completely free if I didn't have to buy the plug end and I also wanted to buy the black switch and switch plate because I didn't like the cream ones I had lying around so could have done it for free but in the end it ended up costing me about six bucks but you can use this project for any sort of thing you want to wire up whether it be a router table or a shop vac collection system or a compressor box with a compressor inside whatever whatever your decision is you can use this method for making all kinds of different switches for your tools that are not easy to access the original power switch so hope you like the video hope you find it useful and you can incorporate it into your projects in the future thanks for stopping by thanks for watching don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your friends if they'd be interested and uh, of course subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next project Too hard. Too hard to me. Too hard to me. Too hard to sweat. Too hard to sweat. Too hard to sweat.